Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. In this video, I've upgraded my satellite weather image downloading system to include the entire planet, or at least half of it. And all it took was a variety of electronics, my free satellite dish, and a whole bunch of cardboard and foil tape. Alright, so the satellites that I'm looking for now are a little bit different than the ones I was looking at previously. Previously, I was looking at low Earth orbit, polar orbiting weather satellites, and those fly around in a low orbit from pole to pole, and they're sun synchronous, meaning they always fly over kind of in the same plane as the sun, so they're coming over at the same time each day. The Earth continues to rotate underneath them so that the track they follow on the ground is a little bit different each time. Since they're in a low orbit, they only see a narrow strip of the ground, and they're relatively easy to pick up with a ham radio and a basic antenna. Now conversely, the GOES satellite, or geosynchronous satellite, is quite a bit farther away, and it's orbiting synchronized to the Earth's rotation, so it's always seeing the same spot on the Earth as it goes around. Now because it's so far away, it takes a bigger antenna to see it. It's easier in one respect because you always know where to point your antenna, but since it is so far away, the signal is pretty weak by the time it gets to the Earth, so that's why you need that bigger dish to pick it up. Now I don't want to spend over $100 on a real dish, so I first started out trying to fake it with my surplus satellite dish. And I've showed most of this equipment in prior videos, but we've got my homemade dish pointer. It's the control box. And that controls this former security camera PTZ mount that lets me aim the dish. So first up, I need a feed horn tuned to the correct frequency for this satellite. This is what's known as a cantenna, and these were pretty common back in the days of Wi-Fi war driving. In fact, I have a few of them sitting around already. Alright, so our existing cantenna is not quite the right size. It's actually a little too narrow, and ideally we want something about five inches in diameter. So let's see if we can find something bigger in the garage full of trash. Oh, no cans in here. This one's a little too wide. Now that thing's about perfect. It's not a tin can, but I have aluminum tape so we can make this into a tin can. Alright, so I've got my satellite dish hooked up with the new LNB. That's the uh, oat can there. And then attached to my LNB, I've got a combination filter and amplifier, specifically for the GOES weather satellites. And then that's running over to my SDR unit that's plugged into this laptop. So we're going to scan around the sky and see if we can find that satellite. So this is the point where the things that worked in the house don't work anymore. Once all the equipment is set up and connected, suddenly the Linux scripts don't do anything. And because these are 30 different scripts programmed by 30 different people, who knows where the error is? There's not one cohesive piece of code for this application. It's a bunch of volunteers and hobbyists just smashing stuff together and hoping it kind of works if you hack at it enough. Apparently some of the crucial scripts are also designed specifically for Raspberry Pi and any other Linux Ubuntu distribution is just slightly too different. I'm still hoping I can get some kind of a signal on this laptop, and once I've verified that my dish works, then I can set up a Raspberry Pi. Alright, so this finally looks like something, just barely. All those vertical lines are showing some kind of signal when I aim at the right place and tune to the right frequency. And all I had to do was cover my dish in cardboard, and foil tape to make it about 25% bigger. So this is basically a cardboard satellite dish including the little LNB here which is also cardboard and silver tape. And that seems to be somehow just enough to get the signal. Alright so obviously this whole setup is not intended for permanent use. 
My dish is mostly made out of cardboard at this point, so it would not hold up in the rain. And it catches the wind like crazy and shakes around, so I keep losing my signal lock because it's a breezy day today. Alright, so now it looks like we're actually getting data packets off the satellite. I had to turn the gain all the way up, but it, uh, it's getting something now. So this is looking more and more promising all the time. At this point I think I've reached the limit of what the little laptop can do, because it is not compatible with all of the utilities and tools that are released for this. So I think I'm going to actually have to switch over to a Raspberry Pi and break out a keyboard and monitor and mouse and all that. But hopefully the Raspberry Pi will run all of the utilities that I need to decode those satellite images. So now we need to install all the scripts to download the images from the GOES satellite, as well as all the dependencies and config files and other stuff that we need. We did this before on the laptop, but it was not quite the right version of Linux. All this stuff works the best with the Raspbian Linux that comes with a Raspberry Pi. I definitely don't have enough computers on my desk right now. I think I need at least two or three more. Alright, I'll get this dish roughly repositioned. I think it was something like that. So if and when I get around to doing this on a permanent basis, I'll need a better dish, I'll need some waterproof enclosures for my electronics, and I'll need a more permanent mount. I'm still using my PTZ mount so I can fine-tune the aim, but if I'm doing something like this long term, I'll just have the dish pointed in one direction permanently so I can strap it down to a pole or roof mount or something else like that. Alright, so according to everything online, that VIT error is supposed to be under 400 if possible, but between 5 and 600 I might get something. So I am getting some packets, and I'm not getting any drops at the moment, so I'm going to leave this thing alone and see if it'll actually download any images. And it is trying to download something, so we'll see what happens after a little while. Alright, I'm getting something here. I don't quite know what all this is, but it's auto-generating a lot of folders. And it seems like we're getting some images downloaded, so that's pretty cool. And these images are actually coming in pretty quickly, and as the internet uh, suggests, they are filling up my SD card pretty quickly. So if I want to do this on a permanent basis or an ongoing basis, I'm definitely going to need a bigger SD card or an external drive, or some kind of better file management system. But for now, this is a pretty cool proof of concept, and I'm pretty impressed that I'm able to get uh, usable downloads off of this dish made of tin foil, foil tape, cardboard, and just garbage. Alright, so this video is basically done, because I've accomplished my goal of getting usable images off that Geosynchronous GOES satellite, and I'm going to move on to something else, possibly setting this up in a more permanent system, although I am still waiting on a free C-band satellite dish, or at least something a little bit larger that I can mount permanently. I will put some links to how I did this and all the software, all the scripts and whatnot in the description, so you can check those out and try to follow along if you want to do it yourself. And of course you can like and subscribe and check out my other videos, including a variety of satellite and radio projects, and see what I come up with next time.